number 16 Utah State men's basketball lost to unranked New Mexico last night, 99-86. And I did say, after Utah State beat Colorado State on January 6th or 7th, but whenever that video came out, y'all could check that out. By the way, I thought this game could have been dangerous. And I was right. Well, New Mexico was up 55-39 at halftime. But second half, Utah State scored 47 points. But New Mexico scored 44. Thus, we got to 99-86 to as the final score in this game. Now, points on turnovers. New Mexico won that battle 20-8. Fast break points, 19-14 in favor of Utah State. Points in the paint, 62-46 to in favor of New Mexico. And I will go over the, all the other stats here in this game. First of all, Utah State didn't shoot the ball bad. I mean, 44.1% from the field on 68 attempts, 23.5% on threes, though, on 17 attempts. That has to be better. 73.3% on free throws on 30 attempts. 40 rebounds, 17 of those offensive, 14 assists, 2 steals, 6 blocks, 14 turns, 14 fouls, and 19 points off the bench. And... Five double digit scores that combined for 80 points. Yeah, because everybody else was four or less. So I added those two players up. Four plus two, that's six. So yeah, it's 80. Now, New Mexico did have 22 points off the bench and five and six double digit scores that combined for 89 points. And they also have one other player with six or more points. With just six, I mean, that's pretty good balance offensively. And like I said, 22, and if I haven't mentioned this, I apologize. 22 point, points off the bench, and New Mexico shot the ball too good. 57.4% from the field on 68 attempts. So took the amount, same amount of shots, but they made more, obviously. 26.3% from the three-point line on 19 attempts. 94.1% on the free throw line on 17 attempts. So the three-point three shooting could be a little bit better, but... After that, it's pretty good. I mean, 30, 32 rebounds, five of those offensive. I know they didn't get as many rebounds in this game, but you made more shots, clearly. And 21, 21 assists, 13, 12 steals, 10, 10 blocks, 7 turnovers, 22 fouls. So with these two teams that are going forward, now Utah State, you got Fresno State at home. That's 89. You should win that game. But on the road to Boise State, that's not necessarily going to be an easy game. San Jose State at home, that's 8 and 10. You should win that game, I would think, especially at home, but then again, who knows. And you got San Diego State on the road, but they were ranked, you know, they're not, but still, that's a good basketball team. And you got Nevada at home, so not necessarily some easy games, and Nevada is a good basketball team, and now this means you every team and the Mountain West has at least one conference loss. By the way, so literally Utah State, San Diego State, Boise State, and Nevada that have all, have one, only one conference loss up to this point. Now, what does New Mexico have in the next five games? And I and I did say after that San Diego State game for New Mexico that they, they could potentially beat Utah State. And it happened to be that way. You got on the road to Air Force now, and you're on the road to San Jose State. You should not win, should not lose one, both of those games. You shouldn't, or else it would be bad loss. But then again, who knows what happens? You got Nevada at home. I mean, that that's a good basketball team. You got Boise State at home, and the name one more game. On the road to Wyoming, but Wyoming is like nine and eight, but. You can't take it for granted. So, anyways, if you like this content, hit like and subscribe. And see you guys later on the road to 600 subscribers. Score to ultimate goal. It's a thousand more. Something right now. Just squish like and video. Comment video. It really helps YouTube. I really. So, more people can see us. Sharing the video does help as well. So, more people can watch. And if you're watching and not subscribed, hit subscribe button. It's free. Hit the notification bell as well.